All right, here we are. Evening two. It's uh, almost midnight, a couple minutes till. So it was about 24 hours ago that I had noticed that uh, I was starting to see the Turgigus puffer uh, eggs were hatching. Um, so as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of movement here in the tank. Um, it's interesting because what I'm noticing is happening is the fry are going down in the gravel and then they disappear. They're actually really camouflaged in there. It seems like they kind of fit in between the little nooks and crannies and there's not a lot of movement. And then every now and then, especially if I shine a light, I'll kind of wake one up and then they'll kind of, you know, flutter around. I could still see they've got a little bit of the egg yolk or the yolk sac. Um, you know, but we're starting to, to, to get some, you know, developing. I have a little screen um, divider since I noticed that uh, the female did take a little bit of a um, beaten here um, when they spawned and I'll get some pictures here of her um, as you can see these are fry here oh wow it looks like a little buffer man even though it's oh that is cool alright alright and I still I'm still not sure how I'm going to play this. I know that uh, I was a little bit concerned about Dad here because he has not left that cave that I've noticed since last Wednesday. Um, you know, when I came home from work is when I noticed the eggs. And he has been in there and his fins have been fluttering and fanning those eggs ever since. And then yesterday evening, um, is when he started to, uh, you know, um, push some of the eggs out and they were hatching. I did just put some ram's horn snails in there because I know he hasn't been eating, so I figured he's going to be hungry. And I thought maybe that would be kind of a dual purpose that maybe would uh, eliminate some predation, which I don't even know if he's going to. Um, I mean, he has been a, a fantastic garter of these eggs. I mean, I've bred, you know, a few other things over the years, and I've never seen, you know, a fish guard eggs like this. Um, even, you know, some of the cichlids, I mean, they'll come out and, you know, get uh, sidetracked, going after, attacking, whatever may be, you know, lurking around. But this guy has not left that cave, and uh, he is very attentive. And you can see a of ram's horns there for him to munch on. And you can see the there's an egg right there. It just came out of the cave. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to try to zoom in on it. Yeah, it's hard to see. But you could see the translucent egg with the fluttering inside. If you could see it, but uh, there's another egg moving there. And, uh, and I, I wanted to move the male out of the tank and let the fry kind of, you know, not have to worry about any predation, but there are still a lot of eggs in there. I don't know if you could get them or pick them up on this uh, video, but it's almost like the shape of a horseshoe in, underneath uh, the canopy of this uh, coconut cave. And... Uh, you know, they look like they're all good eggs. They darkened up and I could see little fluttering or flickering um, when I shine a flashlight on the bottom of the tank upward. So I think that, uh, you know, he's still got some fanning to do.